Hello guys, welcome to this demo on building intelligent agents with Google ADK and Model Context Protocol. In this video, we will see how an AI agent can connect to both local tools like your file system and remote REST API using single standard interface MCP. Google ADK powers the agent, MCP acts as the bridge, allowing communication over STDIO for local tools and SSC for remote services. By the end of this video, you will see how these pieces come together to create seamless multi-tool AI assistant. Why Google ADK? Google Agent Development Kit makes it incredibly easy to build, manage and scale AI agent. It is flexible to connect with Gemini, Cloud or even local LLM and deploy anywhere. ADK was designed to make agent development feel like traditional software development with a clean code, clean structure and strong tool integration. What is MCP? Model Context Protocol is an open standard for how LLM communicate with the tools, data source and other applications. Whether you are accessing a local file system or making a remote API call, MCP defines how that interaction should happen. Think it as a universal language between AI model and a real world. Here is what we will build in this demo. First, we create an agent using ADK. Then we connect it with the local MCP server to access files. We also connect to the remote MCP server to call REST APIs. Finally, we launch the agent with the ADK web and interact with it live. MCP supports two key communication protocol, STDIO and SSE. STDIO enables communication using standard input and output streams just like terminal. This is useful when you are building command line tools, working with the cell scripts or creating lightweight local integration. It's fast, secure and doesn't rely on networking. SSE is for remote streaming. SSE means server sent event. You see HTTP to stream data from server to client. It's ideal when you need one way updates, work behind firewalls or restricted networks or if you want simple way to integrate with REST API, SSE makes remote tool interaction smooth and scalable. Here is the structure of our ADK agent project. Inside ADK agent sample folder, we have dedicated MCP agent directory. In that, we have agent.py then init.py and .env file securely stores our API key. Now let's look at the heart of our project that is agent.py file. We begin by importing key models of Google ADK, LLM agent which defines our agent behavior and MCP toolset which helps us connect to tools using either std.io or SSC. This block shows how we connect our agent to the local MCP server using std.io. We use MCP toolset and configure it with the studio server parameter which launches the MCP tool th through the npx. And also we use the server file system as npx server and the local folder we have configured here. And starting the remote MCP tool we need to set up the SSC server parameter. This tool sits runs in the HTTP server and is accessible via the HTTP localhost 8080. In our previous video I have shown you how to create the MCP server for for REST API, please check out the video for the more information that one. Here we bring the everything together by creating our LLM agent. We set the model of Gemini 2.0 flash, provide the API key securely from the .env file, assigning a name and giving to the clear instruction. We then pass the tools both local and server then register earlier. This final step connect the AI model and tools and the user instruction into the intelligent agent. Let's run this and interact with the agent. For the first run Python 3, iPhone M and create the virtual environment. Once it is created, activate the virtual environment. Next, install the Google ADK. So once the installation has been done, then next run the ADK web. Next, open it in the browser. And first, let's ask which directory I have access. Once I know the path, then let ask list all files in the path. Now let test remote MCP server. For that, let's type get all items. This will return all the response from our local REST API. In our previous video, we have created two APIs to get all items and the items by ID. And then we expose that REST API to the MCP server. If you are interested to learn more about that, please check out my previous video to understand it better. Here you are seeing while using the file systems agent, what are the things are possible here. And that's the power of Google ADK and MCP, building agents that are modular, flexible and production ready. With just few lines of code, we connected an LLM to both local tools as well as the remote API, creating a seamless hybrid AI workflow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to learn more tech related videos like this. Thank you. See you in the next one.